Now, here's the answer to this silly little problem. And this is, uh, those of you that look close probably saw this. I put one of my leads on the chassis. Now, the chassis is hooked to ground at the panel, which is also hooked to neutral at the panel, so it, uh, it's going to bypass our little problem. So, if I go here, I show 120 volts. Okay. The problem is, I don't have a neutral. There was nothing wrong with the transformer in this thing. Transformer is fine. But let's go back, and instead of putting this here, let's put this on the neutral. Okay, I'm on the neutral on one side, and I'm on the hot on the other side. Nothing. Go over to chassis, and I get 120. Okay, this is what this was all about is many of my students when I was teaching would use the chassis as part of the circuit. On a 120 volt appliance, going to chassis isn't going to tell you much of anything because you could have an open neutral. So when you troubleshoot these things, you should be troubleshooting across the circuit. Don't put one of them to chassis and the other one to the hot lead. That's true of both the 120 volt side of the circuit and the 24 volt side of the circuit. So, the moral of the story is, in most cases, do not use the chassis when you're trying to troubleshoot 120 volt circuits. You can get fooled if you happen to have an open neutral. Okay, that's it on this one.